What's up, YouTube? So if you want to breed ball pythons or you want to breed reptiles, you're going to need an incubator. You can either spend a lot of money and buy one professionally made from a company, or you can make one yourself. So in today's video, I'm going to show you mine, and I'm going to show you how you can make it. All right, guys. So today's video is going to be the first part of a two-parter, okay? The first part is going to be about incubators, how you can make one from buying stuff off Craigslist or cheap uh, appliances. The second part is going to have you, how you're going to make egg, egg boxes, right? The easy, cheap way to do it yourself and make an egg box. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Baker. This is Blue Line Morphs. We're a new channel. I'm a fairly new ball python breeder. I have a couple other snakes, but mainly ball pythons. Um, subscribe, like, share. Um, I always try to comment back. I always try to respond back, at least like the comment and talk to you. I have an Instagram channel. It's uh, blue underscore line underscore morphs. Go on and add me over there. Follow me there. I post in there daily. Uh, DM me on there. I'm always going to answer. I always try to stay in contact. Anybody who takes the time out to talk to me, I'm going to take my time out to talk to you. So again, so today I'm going to show you an incubator that I'm using. Um, full disclosure, as always, I didn't make it, um, but I know how it was made. I know how to make it. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you the various components you need to make one, why you need each component, and how you can do it fairly easy, fairly cheap, and have a successful, and you know what, doesn't look that bad, uh, incubator sitting in your house. So stand by. I'm going to get this thing up. We're going to take a look at this thing now. All right, guys. So this is my incubator. And full disclosure, like I said before, I did not make this one. Uh, it's very easy to make. I was actually looking for wine fridges online. And, you know, use ones to actually make my own. And all of a sudden I came across this thing. Somehow it popped up in the search and I purchased it for 150 bucks. Um, it probably costs about 100 bucks to make depending on how much you pay for each part. So the first part about this, uh, this video, I'm going to go through um, each, each part that you need, where you can get it from and approximately how much it's going to cost. Then I'm going to take the camera in my hand. I'm going to show you how you can kind of make this thing. Okay. So. The first thing you need, obviously, is the fridge. Now, you can use an actual cooler. I've seen people use actual coolers. I've seen people use, this is an old wine fridge. I've seen people use the old mini fridges, uh, beer fridge. I've seen people go to, like, wholesalers at restaurants where they're getting rid of, um, like, the big soda machines, stuff like that. You can buy that, depending on how big you want to make it. Of course, like, for me, I like this one because it's got the clear glass. You don't need the clear glass in the front, but why not, right? You put your stickers on at the end of the day that's why we all do this to collect stickers so this is what you need to get you need to get something like this um you can purchase this on craigslist facebook market uh you could buy a brand new one if you want depending now well, let's backtrack you don't have to make one yourself you can order from these big companies and they're going to run you a decent amount of money right my buddy ed uh just bought one in jersey i think from sea serpent don't quote me and i think it ran like 600 bucks the thing is pimped out. The thing is great, okay? It's got lights on it. You know, it's gorgeous. It looks nice. It's got the built-in fan, everything else. Um, but it costs 600 bucks, all right? If you want to pay for that, then just pay for it and you get one. But if you want to make one, here we go. So you can buy uh, a used wine fridge, a used any mini fridge on Craigslist, on Facebook Market. Look at all, you know, let it go. All these different search engines, all these different um, meetups where you can buy stuff. Um, you can buy them brand new if you want, just find it online, find it on Craigslist, find it on Facebook, it's cheap. I've seen them range, ranging anywhere from 40 bucks up to hundred bucks, depending on the size, the condition, how like, uh, how nice it looks. I think this thing looks great. The second piece you're going to need is heat tape. All right. You're going to get a close look at the heat tape in a second, but here's my heat tape in the back. It's 10, 10 inches to 12 inches of uh, heat tape. Uh, you can purchase that on Amazon any of the reptile stores. It comes in rolls. Um, it's legit just heat tape. It's called heat tape. Um, it's relatively cheap. I think it comes in like foot increments. So just measure how much you need. Obviously, this is what, two or three feet? Probably three feet. So buy four or five feet worth, okay? What the hell is a big deal? You can cut it quickly and you put it in the back. All right? The next thing you're going to need is some type of thermostat. Now, I got this one came with the Helix thermostat. You, know, you don't have to use the Helix thermostat. You can find whatever thermostat works for you. If you have a thermostat left over, but you need something to regulate the temperature. Now, this one is, you know, it's, it's a trusted uh, thermostat. It's a good thermostat, but it's simple and basic, right? It's not like the one I have over there. It has a digital readout and so forth and so on. So that's the next thing you need is something to regulate the temperature. 
You can buy it online new. I recommend just getting it new. That's probably the most ex expensive part of uh, building an incubator yourself, but that's what you're gonna need. The second part, or the, one of the last parts rather, is you need some type of fan. Now, it's not a fan to clear the air out, just to circulate the air. Uh, you don't want the air getting uh, stale in there. So what you can do is you can, I don't have one on here yet, I've been debating whether or not I should buy one or not. You go to Best Buy or any of your electronic stores, computer stores, and look for the little computer fans, okay? Uh, all you gotta do is put it in the bottom and just have it turned on where it regulates a certain temperature and just kicks on every once in a while just to keep the air moving. I have spoken to different people who says, you know what, every once in a while, just open up, open up the incubator, let the air kind of flow through. That'll help the process, that'll clear the air out. I don't know how much I like that just because you are opening it up and you don't want the, the temperature to fluctuate too much. Um, another thing you might see is people in the bottom here, they'll stack water bottles all down here. I've seen that a lot and at first I was a little confused and then it, they explained it to me why. So let's say you're at work. Let's say you go to work for eight to 10 hours, you, your dog hits the, the electric outlet or something happens and your incubator comes unplugged. It's a problem, right? You don't want this thing getting cold. You know, if, you, if, if, you're, if your thermostat over here is turned off on your snakes, temperature drops for a couple hours, all right, shame on you, not that big of a deal. If it drops on your eggs, you're shit out of luck. So the idea behind that is if you stack water bottles down there and they're sitting in 88 to 90 degrees for two or three weeks, and now somehow your power goes out or somehow your incubator loses power, these water bottles will be hot enough to kind of keep that temperature as high as it can possibly be, right? It's better than nothing. So the idea is to have these water bottles hot in case this thing turns off or something happens to the power supply, it'll maintain a decently high temperature until you can notice it, so you can fix it, all right? So those are the components you need. You need some type of refrigerator, okay? It could be, I recommend the wine fridges. It could be a, a mini fridge. You need uh, a thermostat, all right? And along with the thermostat is you need heat tape, okay? And then the last thing you probably need is a fan to circulate the air. So now, now that I give you the, the various components, you can buy all this stuff on online, really easy, probably Amazon, on this on Let Go, Craigslist, so forth and so on. So let's get an up close look at how this is done. It's really, really easy. Um, I'm gonna take a break real quick, just because I'm gonna show you something in the back. A lot of these refrigerators come with compressors in the back that kick on to keep you know, the, 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 the the refrigerator cold. So once you take them out, now when you open this up, it's super, super front heavy. So I'm just gonna put something in the back there real quick, just so when I open this thing up, it doesn't fall and crush my dog or whatever that else will happen, All right? So I'll be right back. Let's get a closer look at this and see how we can actually build this thing. All right, guys, so in the back here, there used to be uh, the compressor. It's just a few uh, bolts, all right, that come, a few bolts right here that come right out. You pull that thing out. Just be cognizant of the fact that it will become a little bit heavy. Uh, front heavy, rather. All right, so here, here's the front of this. This is all you guys really need. So here you have your heat tape, okay? Now, if you look, you have your electrical, um, your electric, electrical tape right here. These run along the side. This is all you actually need. So I take the tape and you put it at the very top and you run it to the bottom. This has a little nub right here that sticks out further. I mean, you could run it down here if you really wanted to. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I do see a lot of people that run it from the top to the bottom. So you literally just take this heat tape, take electrical tape and just put it against the back and run it straight down. It's really that simple, okay? Not hard, not difficult. Of course, you have these built-in shelves. Now, the second part is you have to wire your thermostat through the back and then you have to have the probe right here. So if you're looking in the back over here, there's a small little hole that most of these uh, most of these things have from your compressors, okay? So if you utilize that hole or you drill a little hole for yourself, just make sure you tape it up again when you pull the probe through. Now you wanna keep the probe right in the middle here just to make sure that the temperature is regulated, okay? And that, that's really it, guys. Now down here is where I talked about how you can put the water bottles to uh, make sure that it, it, just in case it turns off, that the heat stays hot. But that's, this is how you build an incubator. It's that simple. You got the heat tape right there. You run it along the back. You tape it up with that. You take your thermostat. You run it through the back where the compressor used to be. You have these little holes back here. Then you run the probe, which is right there, straight through. And that's really that. Okay. All right, guys. So that's the end of my do-it-yourself uh, incubator video for ball pythons or reptiles. It's really not difficult. You can buy all this stuff online on Letgo, Facebook Market, Amazon, or various reptile stores. Um, it's real easy. It's not hard to put together. 
So I hope this helped a little bit. If this didn't clarify, I have got a lot of questions about how to build these things. Um, if this didn't help clarify, let me know. If you want, I'll do a whole video about me purchasing each individual part and how to put it together. So that's the first part of this two-part series on how to build incubators. I'm going to start, if you saw before in the background, I literally have my stuff to build my egg boxes here. I'm going to make that video now. Um, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope this helped. I hope this clarified. Not too bad for 150 bucks. Probably could have made it and bought uh, the parts myself, made it that much cheaper. It should only be about an hour to make this thing. It's not difficult, guys. Um, I recommend doing this over paying six, 700 bucks for uh, one made. So until next time, guys, uh, be safe. Always remember, watch the six.